All right, we got the patch notes here that I'm going to read to you. Not a lot. Uh, not a lot. I was really looking forward to more. Uh, but basically updated on December 8th. Um, here are the patch notes. Install size for the multiplayer is about 26.53 gigabytes. Um, both campaign and multiplayer are 48.42 gigabytes. Uh, let's see here. It resolved some issues where uh, you can now play LAN multiplayer. Um, there are some known issues though. Match settings change. Match settings change in the mode editor still show as the defaults. The change settings work as expected once the match begins. Uh, players with AMD Radeon RX 500 series, which is me, sadly, no longer experience crashes because async compute in video settings is turned on. Players who have async compute turn uh, because of this can now turn it back on. Halo Infinite is launched without an internet connection. Players can connect to the internet while on the main menu and play online. This does not resolve all scenarios where the game is launched connected to the internet, later lo loses internet connection and is stuck offline until the game is restarted. When launching in window mode on Steam, the window shows correct borders. Uh, challenge and progression. They had updated this on the 30th, but basically first match rewards uh, 300 XP. The next two matches reward 200 XP. The next three matches reward 100 XP after completing these first six challenges. All match completion rewards are 50 XP each. So that helps you progress through just by playing. And then they have the other challenges like kind of like a Destiny Bounty if you're a Destiny player. Um, you know, get, you know, so many capture flags or, or play capture flag and get a win or something like that. Um, also, an important note, daily challenges reset at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. So every day at that time. Um, there are some known issues when you purchase Halo Infinite in-game. Uh, there may be a delay of several minutes while the purchase is processed before you can play. Uh, when playing offline or entering a campaign via Quick Mint Resume. Um, this word here, Menilnor armory customizations collected in campaign are not unlocked in the multiplayer customization menu the team is working on a retroactive fix for players to collect armory uh, customization while offline work around when using quick resume or after losing your internet connection while playing halo infinite close and relaunch the game uh, before collecting any armory items uh, equipment up Upgrades cannot be purchased in the upgrade menu while using the linear navigation accessibility feature Fast traveling while dead may cause an endless loading screen. Uh, work around, close Halo Infinite, and reload the save game on the main menu. Very rarely, players may be unable to progress the current mission. Um, see Halo Infinite campaign, known issues for more details. Work around, restart the mission. So they did some balance uh, changes. Uh, oh, when there is balance change in the future updates, Halo support will include these in our next patch notes. Okay, so cool. Um, so yeah, I just went to Halo uh, support. And then I went, um, you know, well, I went to their Twitter and then went to this because they have tweeted out the patch notes here. So if you want to check that out, go for it. 